Alright everybody, welcome back for part 22 of our Realm of Thrones Let's Play. In the last episode, we held a massive siege battle, 1500, sorry, 1700. Targaryen soldiers under the command of Aegon Targaryen besieged the walls of Yonkai and we repelled them. They were defeated, crashed against the walls like waves on the ocean rock. But they were defeated. And in their defeat, we gained all these prisoners. Now, the important thing about this is, good old Munford Valerion here is the Lord of House Valerion. Uh, we could try and talk him into joining us, maybe? Maybe? Potentially? Do I have to enter the dungeon? Possibly. Munford, join us and be free. I am the rightful ruler of this land and I would like your support. Surely this doesn't work. Oh my god. 39% for a double crit. That's insane. If he ever violated his oath to you, it absolves you of your duty to him. Put your interests and the good of the realm first. There's too much at stake for that. Okay, no. He's not keen on that one. I have a strategy to win and my strategies always work eventually. That's not very convincing. Better not better to die fighting for a just ruler than to live under an unjust one. And it worked. I think we've convinced Munford Valerion to join our cause. This is a dangerous step. How will you convince me to join you? Uh well, I have over a million gold, so dude, <laughs> by all means. Oh wow, one gold? He's happy to take one gold. Like, you can have one gold to betray your king. Welcome, welcome to the cause. <laughs> good job, good job. Um, Roly Duckfield, I think he's also a lord. Join us. Oh no, he doesn't want to. Okay. Not keen, not keen. Mark Mandrake, who are you? Okay, okay. Oh, Jesus. That man has the plague. Montaris Valerion, you will be you released because you're part of this faction. Alright, well, we've taken one of the great lords. Alright, boys. Vice Diaf is under siege. We've gone with the same strategy, we've broken inside. And we are prepared to hold it to the last man. The followers of Aegon have hired mercenaries to attempt to take our lands. Little do they know that if even they could not take it, what hope do mere mercenaries have? Let's find out. Wah. The archers firing their shots. The enemy has just as many recruits as we do. As well as Reavers. Ironborn scum they have hired to side with them. Whoa, any chance I can get on this? I'm on the wrong side. Eh, Lady Asilla. Ah, it's fine, it's fine. You're doing plenty of damage. Might go to the other catapult, though. That might be a good idea. I feel like the way this is set up, we could do a lot of damage. They've only got one front to attack. They do have the, um... The battering ram, but... Oh, wow. Yeah, that's, that's a nasty spot. I feel bad for this guy. Their archers are spreading out, which is great for us. Less concentrated fire on this one position would be nice. Oi, oi, oi. Now the siege ow, ladder will go up on that side. Their ladders are on this side. They will push the ladders up as soon as their other siege equipment arrives. I want to see how much damage I can cause. Give me this. Give me control. Give me a, a rock. Reduce range. Fire. Oh yeah. That's a good spot to be firing at. They've lost the battering ram, boys. No battering ram means fun times for us. Give me another rock. 
Bring the rock forward. Load me up. Oh, big damage. Very nice. This is a good way for us to whittle down their forces. We've got to get to the other side of the wall in just a second. Change positioning. Fire. Good shots. Alright, going to the other side. This side has ladders. It should be easier to hold. The other side looks like our men weren't really prepared to be holding this tower. Let's see if we can get some shots down on the guys below. They are spewing forward. Oh, come on, men. Don't give him a chance. I want to wrap around. This guy's getting in my way. Oh, this works. Front and center. Just where I like to be in the defense. Cut them down, lads. Show them. Show them the folly they've made siding with Aegon. For we are the true Targaryens. The true inheritors of the throne. Soon everyone will know. We can find Connington and drop him. That would be ideal. Finish that guy off. You knocked him down, but you didn't kill him. Cut him down. Let no one make a dent in our defense. Oh, that's a commander. Take her out. Come on. One more hit. There we go. Meg. Meg is down. Peter didn't like her and I don't either. She's out of here. This side appears to be pretty well locked down so far. I can only hope the same is true for the other side. I'm going to jump down and go around. Go have a look and make sure that our far right side is holding just as well. They are only having to defend ladders, so it shouldn't take that much effort, really. Yeah, that looks pretty secure. <coughs> our men appear to be doing quite well. Aside from the guys getting shot off by the ar by archer fire. That guy was aiming at me. I know he was. Whoop, got him. So is that one. Come on, boys. Take him out. Return the fire. They want to have an archer competition? I'm down. I'm game. I will shoot down as many enemies as is necessary. I'm out of arrows. So that many enemies may have to wait. Come on. Load me up, boys. Oh, Jesus. I'm not getting loaded up. Not getting loaded up. Their infantry is starting to lose out. Woo. Don't want to get hit by that. Right, we still have far more infantry than they do. And eventually their archers are going to have to commit to the front line. We don't have to defend the gates, which means all of our forces just get to focus on one section. Which is awesome for us. I need more arrows. That'll do. Archer barrel. That guy has javelins. He could be a problem. Take him out. He can return fire. He needs to go down. Keep hitting them, boys. Keep hitting them. The more of them that die, the more their morale is hindered. 
I don't think they have the manpower to take this office. Man, I just rebuilt my force of peasants. We have so many recruits in our army just because we've been running around recruiting and giving recruits to our um, companions and stuff. However, Montaris's Valerion's uh, children have been collecting as many forces as they can and will soon be able to join us in our rebellion. Funny considering they, they, that was the house that liked us the least and they're the ones that are willing to help. Maybe they had similar feelings towards Aegon. Must have had some sort of resentment towards him. Oh, the enemy archers are committing. They're running low on infantry. Just keep picking them off as they go up. Fire shots into them. Oh. While they are clustered on that ramp. Keep firing. Break their spirit. Break them. Make them fear for their lives. Oh, they're retreating. Very nice. Another victory for House Blackfire. Ah, oh, missed. Come on. Hey, got a hit. They had wait like their entire archer force on the right there looks like it broke. Good shot. Come on. Ah, oh, all right. So out of our forces. 56 wounded in the garrison. Um, 38 of our men died with 118 wounded. Brienne, 51 dead with 41 wounded. Not bad losses, to be totally honest. Bedek Dondarian. Ah. Now that is a man I could capture. And Thoros of Mir. I'm pretty sure I could convince them to join me. Alright, we'll take the Volantine Bowman. Just to stock up our forces a little bit. Volantine Footman. I'm not totally fussed on what troops we're using right now. Because honestly, we just need troops. Lots of them. We're going to take all of the prisoners. And I mean all of them. Because this is we're at a city. And it doesn't matter. Alright. Manage town. It's doing its job. Um, go to the keep. <clears throat> not the arena. The keep. Dungeon. Manage prisoners. Uh, can I talk to any of you? Not here. So I'm going to put them in here. We're going to go speak to them in the dungeons. And we're going to sell... Hold on. We've got to take all these guys out. We can only have lords in the dungeons. We can't be filling up dungeons with hundreds and hundreds of foot soldiers. Because that's just... no. There's no point. We sell them. We send them back to home to their families. Alright? That's, that's what we do here. We're not about holding random dudes prisoner. Only important dudes. Alright. Alright. Uh, to the dungeons. Alright, my dudes. Thoris of Mere refused to join us. What a fool. He does not see that we are worth investing in. So, we will hop on out of there. We've got Willem Lannister coming to join us currently with his party of 65. Misty and Olicor gathering their forces. Uh, we will recruit. There's nothing to recruit here right now. Okay, fair enough. Go over here. Here's Willem's forces now. Excellent. Join me, Willem. We'll head back into the city. There might be something for you to recruit. There is not. Okay, fair enough. Run around to all these small towns. How goes the war? Very much in our favor. <clears throat> we shall head south. Get our, our boys to recruit some dudes. Alright, back to our own lands. I mean, these are our own lands, but more civilized lands at least. We can call Olicor to us. I think this is our time to take some land off the enemy. They have sieged us twice. Whoop. 
Yes, Aegon, flee that direction. Perfect. Yep, keep going. If we can capture Aegon Targaryen, the war is ours. Get him. Get him, Olicor. If we can catch him, he's done for. Oh, he went after some villagers. Aegon, this just shows why you need to be ousted as king. That you would attack peasants in my kingdom. Peasants that were once of your own kingdom. Well, now we know the type of king you were. A villain. And all villains must be defeated. Increase Lady Asilla's stewardship. Drop a point into intelligence so that she can rule Aegon's castle. This is technically Aegon's daughter, by the way, that we are married to. But that's okay. Um, now we're going to go in here before this battle even starts. Oh, no, that that no work. How about this one? Yeah, that'll give us tons of experience for our troops. 18,000 XP for our men. Bam, 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 All the upgrades. Alright, let's get in here. Let's show him the error of his ways. Look at our forces. Gathered to defend this small group of villagers. All they wanted to do was farm, and Aegon would not allow them to do it in peace. What a barbarian he is. Truly more savage than the Dothraki themselves. Right, let's line up our soldiers. Cavalry in behind, horse archers in behind. Let's go. Archers, do your job. Hey, yeah, yeah, I did not line you up like this so that you could do that crap. Back into lines. Thank you. Cavalry. Defend my flanks. Horse archers. Skirmish. The enemy has far more horse archers than we do. We'll just send the infantry forward to commit. It's probably the best option here. While we attempt to deal with the enemy's uh, horse archers. They have the horse archer advantage. We need to remove it. Before they can actually do damage with it. Alright. Come on. We incapacitate these guys. We'll be wrapping up this episode in just a minute, guys. It's been a good one. Alrighty. Hack and slash our way through the enemy archers. Oh, this could be my death. I may have just ridden into my death. Not even a concern. However, their horse archers may get cut down by arrow fire if they stay this close. Ow! Did he just lance me somehow? Interesting. Dragonstone Horseman cut down. Elite Hide Crossbow down. Cavalry, engage. Just engage. Don't need to cycle charge a force this small. Whoa! Lancers. Lancers, not fun. Don't want to get dismounted. Capturing King Aegon could end the war. This is all about forcing him to submit. If we can do that, we will have peace. Cut them down, men. Cut down the traitors. And they are traitors. We are the rebellion, but they are the traitors. They betrayed their people. And here we are, fighting alongside farmers and peasants. To secure them a better future. 
under a united Dothraki rule. Dothraki? No. Targaryen! What can I say? I'm stupid sometimes. Alright? Alright. Is that all of them? That's all of them. 60 men dead, 90 wounded. That's pretty good. We didn't lose that much. And we captured Aegon in the process. Very important. Great. Aegon Targaryen is our prisoner. Let's talk to him, shall we? My friend, uh, I'm in open rebellion against you. I'm his friend. Alright, sorry about that, everybody. We uh, had a bit of an error with the video recording software, so it cut out after I captured Aegon. I couldn't convince him to end the war, and we took the, the castle of Borash. Really depressed you guys didn't get to see that, but it was only a hundred man defense. It's nothing um, you know drastic, but it is a little disheartening. So I'm just going to quickly try to move us on, get one more battle into this episode for you guys, and then we'll round it off there. Um, yeah, thieves. Hopefully we don't lose Borash in that time. As I haven't really had a chance to set up a defense for it. We'll make a move against um, Castle Demon Gate. is probably a good place to go to. Try and seal Aegon's territories in even further. That sounds like a plan to me. Depending on what the defenders at Demon Gate are like. And we're just hoping that we don't get completely overwhelmed. We will call upon Montara Monford Valerion, our new ally. Besiege this castle. It's got 238 defenders. So it's actually got more defenders than the last one did. Alright. Let's get our siege equipment set up. Wait for our allies to arrive. Upgrade our troops. Very important, very important. Then we'll be able to get right into this battle. Ah, uh, sorry about that cut, guys. Really much, very much not what I wanted. But, these things happen. Alright. Come on, build my damn siege equipment. Why you got a deck so long to build? Let me have a stuff. Come on. And Borash is under bloody siege. Of course it is. <sighs> we could go in with what we have here. You know what? We're going in with what we have here. And then at the start of the next episode, we will attempt to save Borash Castle. If we can't save Borash Castle at the start of the next episode, we may just get a chance to rebattle for it, and you guys will actually get to see the siege of Borash Castle. So there could be a little bit of a light at the end of the tunnel on that one, but uh, we are yet to find out. Alright, we're going to ride right up here. Betsy, get me up there. Betsy, forward to the wall. We shall deploy these ladders ourselves. Get the ladder up there, Betsy. Get it up there. Our infantry scrambling to assist. Cannot keep up with the speed of their commander. I'd like to see the cavalry in this game sometimes like keep their horses in siege battles for simple tasks like this, just riding up and deploying ladders. Or riding up as a like, you know, much quicker way of hitting enemy positions. Come on, infantry, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Get up to the wall. Go, 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 go. That's it, boys. Climb those ladders. I'm with you, men. Let's do this. Let us scale the wall. This man's trying to shoot me in the side as I climb up. Bit of a douche move if you ask me. Bit of a douche move. Oh, I don't like where we're coming up. Not one bit. Not fun at all. Yeah. If I just, you know, 
run. <laughs> Maybe that works, you know? Maybe we just run through, hit a couple archers on the way, drop the aggro of the enemy units, and then just come in and flank them a little bit, draw their attention. Yeah, that's it. Fo face the other way. I have a bow. Hit him. I'm a better archer than you. Ow, he did hit me. Rude. I hit you back. Ha ha. Ha ha. Come on. Come on. Uh oh. Damn dude with a hammer. Always fear a man with a hammer. The Wreck-It Ralph movie showed me that men with hammers can accomplish anything. Fix it, Felix! Yeah! Yeah! Come on, men. We need a solid front here. Ow, I keep getting shot. It's this guy, isn't it? I used to be an adventurer like you. Then you took a sword to the wrist. Dead, dead, come on. We've had a successful breakthrough on this side. The rest of our positions still haven't even hit the walls and we're already scaling up them. Let's go, boys. Another successful siege of a wall. Push in. Add an extra flank to our men that are trying to climb up the siege tower. That's it, boys. Draw their attention. If they're focused over here, they're not paying attention to the force deploying behind them. See, and now the AI doesn't know what to do. It's scrambling to get back over to that position. But we have men pushing here, so the AI also wants to defend this. It just doesn't know what to do about our advanced tactics. Here comes the reinforcement wave. Hack him to bits, lads. Ow. Stop hitting me. Very rude of you. We're all civilized here. Push in, men. Deal with these scoundrel archers. I'm going for that far side over here. Assisting our men. Stopping this ballista from firing. That's a priority. Ow, okay, okay. Gotta get in- Oh, oh, I just took myself out. Well then. Not part of the plan. Alright, let's spectate how well our men do, do without us. Without us leading the charge. Go on. Where's our men? There they are. Here comes the flank. Move our way to the front gates. Which are being hacked down as we speak. The brave men in here. Slowly hacking it down. Unsullied. Targaryen. Valyrian. Mirish. The greatest combination of soldiers you have ever seen. A true alliance. A unified land. Marching in unison. These guys are like, quick, focus down this one guy. And there's the rest of them. Here comes the big boy flank. Prepare to get smushed. That's it, boys. Get in there. Yes, excellent. Show them why we are superior. Why ours is the only Targaryen lineage that will proceed. No Daenerys. No Aegon. Only Velaris Blackfire. And his kin. Knock, knock. Anybody inside? Hello? Oh, hello there. Y'all are about to have a bad time. Oh, look at these archers. They're like, yeah, we can get them, boys. Just keep shooting. I swear, we can deal with this. And then there's just going to be a horde of dudes about to come up this staircase and absolutely scare the bejesus out of them. Ready, ready. One day, you're just casually shooting out of a porthole, and then suddenly... A horde of men comes scrambling up. What do you do? You attempt to hold them back with a hammer. That man is a 
God, he's fighting them with a hammer. Get us in here. Oh, boys. Their attempt was brave but futile. Now the men on the top layer. They try to hold, but there's just so many enemies. What can they do? The pure horror of facing a unified army. Our men move on to the second tower. Where they push up and defeat all the archers that shot down their friends. Their comrades that they have fought alongside. Alright. Very nice. Victory for House Valaris. Blackfire. House Blackfire has overcome many adversities. Mostly being of our own king. Some being of a traitorous dragon queen with no dragons. Some call her insane. I agree. Alright guys, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. If you enjoyed the content, drop a like, drop a comment, and subscribe. So sorry again for the cut. I hope you enjoyed this siege battle and every other battle we've had in this episode. Bye for now. Not forever.